Hello friends, welcome to Delpro Farm Manager tutorial. In today's video, we will discuss uh, how to create new groups in Delpro software. Uh, creating the relevant groups in software is very crucial. And uh, the way we have created the groups in the farm, the way we have placed the cows in different sections or different groups in the farm, same way we need to create the groups uh, in Delpro software. Uh, today, I will take one example of uh, three groups of milking cows, early lactation cows, mid lactation cows, late lactation cows, and one group for uh, uh, dry cows, and uh, one group for uh, calves and heifers. So, here it starts. In Delpro software, on the top, we need to click on farm. Under farm, the second option is herds group selection. Just open it and you will find there is one default farm and under that there is one herd one. If you expand it, you will find there is one group one. So these are the default things you will find in Delpro software. Our target is to create five groups out of which three groups are for milking cows and uh, one group is for dry cow and one, cow, one group is for heifers and calves. So here we start. Just select herd 1. Herd 1 is highlighted then you click on new and click on group. You will see it will automatically assign a group number 2 because group number 1 was already there by default. So it gives uh, it, it assigns a group number automatically. If you want you can change the group number also and you can type the name of the group. Uh, example, early lactation cows. And if we need to give any description, we can type here uh, 0 to 60 days in milk. Then under milk settings, I need to tell Delpro how many times this the cows from this group will be milked. Session 1 and session 2 both I select and I click save and close. So one group with the name early lactation cows is created. Another group click on new group. The group number 3 is there automatically give it a name mid lactation cows description can be 61 to 200 dim this is just an example each farm will have his own preferences for uh, for mid lactation days in milk or uh, any lactation days in milk in milk settings we need to tell the software how many times the cows of this group will be milked Two times I put a check mark for session one and session two and I click save and close then I have uh, another group late lactation cows late lactation cows or it can be from 201 to 300 maybe 310 days in milk milk settings these cows will be milked two times so session one and session two are selected save and close now the next group is going to be for dry cows out of dry cows there can be some cows which will be milked just in one session because they are still under uh, the dry off therapy. So let us assume that we will milk the cows only in session one. Um, I click new group. I give it a name. I give it a name drying off rather than dry off. Drying off. And uh, in description, I type to be dried off but still in milking 
this is just for my understanding and under milk setting I will assign only session 1 for the group and I will click save and close now what is the difference in the milk settings of uh, drying of group the difference is if you look carefully under milk settings only session 1 is enabled for this group if any cow from this group by mistake comes in the parlor in session 2 the MPC will show a red light with the symbol don't milk because session 2 is not activated or not enabled for this group and uh, if the cow comes only in session 1 she will have the permission and system will allow the milking so this is the difference of uh, allowing milking for a particular group coming next uh, we will create a new group for uh, complete dry of cows dry of cows completely dried off cows that is a description so under milk settings none of the session should be checked for such cows save another group can be heifers uh, we can put uh, age as well 10 months plus so in description I can type uh, breedable heifers these are also non milking animals so no check mark on milk settings save and close so th this is the example how we can create new groups in Delpro software and uh, once we create the software now uh, when we try to create uh, or when we try to introduce an animal in Delpro software you will see that when we click to add animal under groups we have all the groups which we have defined in Delpro software so this is very important to create the groups before introducing any animal in Delpro software because uh, we need to select the correct group for respective animal if we try to change the group later on then it is an unnecessary data entry in software which is not required at all so I hope uh, it it was an easy workshop today and uh, if you need uh, any any further help in this uh, training please let me know and thank you very much for your time. Bye-bye.